Hi YouTube friends, this is Kwa. Today I'm going to show you how to set up a throttle activated timer for your radio. Now we all understand the importance of timing your flights and making sure that you're not flying for too long because if you fly too long your battery can run out and then your plane falls out of the sky. Not that's ever happened to me, but um, you know it's it's critical that we make sure that we have enough battery remaining uh, to land or to get home safely. And the way to do that is with a timer. Okay. Now, almost all radios today, they come with timers and, um, you know, it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, this function is, is pretty rudimentary. Um, even the cheapest radios will have a timer. Now, um, the limitation that I found so far is that the timers are usually activated when the radio turns on. And that's not accurate for me at least because most of the time, you know, with setup and with uh, just kind of, you know, getting the plane or testing, you know, making sure that everything, you know, all the, 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 the propellers or the, uh, the motor, you know, is running. I mean, all the little pre-check, flight, flight pre-check things that you do, it eats up about two minutes of time, okay? And so I don't really start flying until maybe two or three minutes after turning the radio. So the timer's already going off, so it's not really accurate. You know, I mean, it, it's telling me I have, you know, I've used up three minutes of flight time, which is not really the case. And so what you want to do is, you know, at least on the Tyrannus radio, it has... You know, you can set your timer based upon your throttle action, okay? And I'll explain what I mean by that. So here you see that um, here's a timer. You know, it's, it's, you know, a little less than five minutes. And here you have the throttle. Okay, the throttle is at slowest point, And so the timer is not moving. But what happens if I move the, the throttle past you know, 25 um, uh, percentage, you notice that the timer starts counting down. And the Tyrannus has a, a voice activated function where it'll tell you how many minutes you have left. Okay, so you're, there you go, it's, it's, it's counting down because my throttle is, is, is past 25%. Okay, and then uh, you notice that if I turn the throttle off, the timer stops, all right? And with this uh, system, it's actually more accurate because Again, you're, you, it's counting your flight time, not the time that the, the radio has been on. Okay, and it's really simple, and I'll show you to do that. So first, you got to go to menu, and then you go, you click page until you get to logical switches. Okay, uh, to the screen where it says logical switches. And then you will pay attention to the first one, which says L1. Okay, and there, you can, I think you can program 64 logical switches. I have the timer on logical switch one, and you'll notice um, what is indicated on logical switch. And it's going to be A is greater than X, channel three, minus 75. Okay, um, I'm not sure exactly what all those means, um, well, I, okay, actually, maybe I will try to explain, not being so ridiculous, not being so facetious, but A is greater than X. X is uh, your throttle level, okay, and channel three being your throttle. I happen to have my throttle on channel three. You know, you may be different. You may have your throttle on channel four or channel, you know, two, whatever, but it should be, um, the second column should be the channel of your throttle switch, okay? And then the third column, 75, is going to be a little different maybe for everyone, okay? Um, I have it on negative 75 because that is what is activated when, uh, you know, that's a number that, that works for me when I move my throttle up past 25 uh uh, percentage. Okay. It could be positive 75. It could be negative 25 and it could be positive 25. So 
keep those numbers in mind. Um, you got to play around with those numbers to see what works. I know that on cer certain models, um, you know, certain quadcopters, whatever, the number is different. So, you know, but one of those numbers will work for you. Negative 25, positive 25, negative 75, or positive 75. Most likely one of those numbers will work for you. So there you go. You, you know, once you have all this down and you don't have to worry about any of these things uh, over uh, the columns. I, I don't have anything on there. I don't know what they're for, but logical switch one, this is what you should have. And once you have done that, then you go to... to the model setup, okay? And then you'll go down to where it says timer one, okay? That's your first timer. And timer one should say L1. L1 is stands for logical switch one that we set up. And of course, you know, then you can set up the amount of time you give yourself. Uh, it could be five minutes uh, in this instance for me, or it could be whatever is appropriate for you. So, and that's it. And, and what will happen is that uh, the radio will count down the time for you and the throttle, the time is only activated by, uh, you know, your throttle movement past 25 percentage. And so it's, um, you know, you can like, for instance, you know, it's more accurate because you're only using, the timers only counts um, you know, the time when your throttle is on, which is actually when your battery is being used. Four okay. point zero. All right, there you go. Just told me how much time I have left. Thank you very much. And, you know, a, you know, like a scenario would be, you know, I'm flying my quadcopter and I land it. Okay. And then, you know, once I land, the throttle is off. And so, um, and then I start up again. Okay. Or if you are a glider pilot and you got... Um, you got your plane up there and, you know, and your throttle is off because you're catching a great wind. Um, so, you know, you, you, you have a more, much, much more accurate of your flight time and how much battery time you have left. So I hope this has been helpful. Um, and if you find it to be so, uh, please like this video and then subscribe to my channel and I will continue producing videos like this. Thanks for watching.